Hey guys, it's Asim Sharma, Training Manager from Solver and Consulting. I do hope you're all well. Uh, today I'm going to very briefly discuss about how to remain positive during difficult times. Uh, now, without wanting to state the obvious, we are going through extremely difficult times. Uh, if we put that aside, the actual struggle that people may encounter in terms of their career or their education, how do we deal with that? So, a lot of people have been affected by the pandemic and we have cyclical unemployment even before that in terms of economic crisis, etc. So, um, how do you make yourself more employable and how do you deal with uh, either being laid off or struggling to find uh, work which interests you and which uh, can help you to grow sustainably? So, um, you must have heard these things, but there are some obvious things that you can always do. Always try to learn new skills. Try to build upon or advance the skills that you already have. So let's say you uh, are computer literate, which most of us are, but you want to improve your office skills. Maybe you want to learn more intermediate to advanced office skills, be it Word, Excel, uh, Google Docs, Sheets, etc. Improve your presentation skills. These things can help. Uh, interview preparation. I wouldn't say that you should prepare too much, you should have a kind of outline and then just know a little bit about the company that you're applying for. Be honest, sometimes if I've been asked during interviews that do you know what we do, I'll say forgive me, I apply for multiple jobs on a daily basis, I'm not aware. I am simply aware that this is the designation as you just mentioned, could you please enlighten me? So that modesty, that element can help. Um, practice. So learning new things, as I mentioned, um, online courses, there are a lot of free online courses. I did so myself when I was uh, laid off earlier last year at the start of the pandemic. That can also help you. Um, try to broaden your horizon. Start looking in different industries. Uh, be, be prepared to exit your comfort zone, and I've mentioned this before. Um, so, you know, make yourself more versatile, that helps. And remind yourself of how far you've come, even if you don't feel that you've been that successful. The fact that you are still alive, the fact that you still have the means to look for a job, and that you have skills which can be developed, um, that says a lot. So don't compare yourself to other people. Try to learn from successful people if you can. Uh, try to take advice from people as well. Um, but at the end of the day, try to, if you have to, retrospect and introspect, see where you can improve upon yourself and and also just remind yourself that look, I have come all this way, this is a period of time, this will inevitably happen again, so don't become complacent when we're having the good times because when, when we fall, how we recover says a lot about a person, right? So um, these are all important factors to bear in mind. So by doing so and setting out a plan, of realistic goals which may take some time and don't be afraid to fail I've mentioned this before as well so even if you're only partly able to accomplish a goal or you're not able to but you've tried and you've learned something from it and maybe give you direction to pursue something else a different venture then that's also good so I hope you found this useful for further information and tips please do subscribe to this YouTube channel you're welcome to comment or ask questions below the description you can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, and of course our LinkedIn page. Do stay tuned. We are running a lot of courses, uh, many of which I'm delivering in terms of personality development, communication skills, uh, professional writing, and the list goes on. It's endless. So till next time, please do take care. Thank you very much.